Eri, welcome. Mish Isla, she fiddler, Fosh Man and Mish. I'm Isla and I'm a fiddle player from the Isle of Man. Um, and in today's video, um, I'm going to be teaching you a lovely Manx waltz called Kate Hug Me Cry, and that means uh, Once I Loved. Um, and this is originally a song in Max Gaelic, uh, and the late Colin Jerry um, put words to this, and the melody was written by David Spears. Um, so I think this is a lovely wee tune to have in your repertoire. So we're going to learn this tune phrase by phrase and we'll break the A part down and then the B part. Um, and this tune is in D major, so there's two sharps and that is F sharp and C sharp. So I'm going to play Kate Hug Me Cry uh, once through so you can hear what it sounds like. starts with two quaver upbeats and um, before it plays that F sharp and um, so those two quavers are a D and an E um, and we always play them when we play the A part. So I'm going to play um, the first phrase and then you're going to repeat it after me and we'll see how we get on. So those upbeats start on an open D. to get us back to the start of the tune and to repeat the A part. So um, I'm just going to play that ending phrase with those two upbeats at the end to get us back in today and then you're going to repeat it. So I'll go. Try 
try the whole A part and we're going to try um, with those upbeats as well at the end and um, yeah, see how we get on. So we'll go from the very start of the A. Um, so those upbeats starting on the open D and we'll do it after um, two bars of three, four. One, two, three, two, two. <laughs> part features not beat as well but this time um, a crotchet high D um, and that leads us into the start of the B. So I'll play that first phrase featuring that upbeat as well and then we'll repeat it together after. So third fingers on the A. Okay we'll try that. jumps down to an octave beneath, an open D, and the next phrase sounds like this. Okay, so we're going to try that together now. And now we're going to pair that phrase with the first phrase featuring that D upbeat. So third finger's on the A again. finishes with another E again and we're holding that on for five beats as well. So we'll try that phrase together. First fingers on the A. Okay, so we're going to put that phrase with the very first phrase and um, featuring that upbeat. So and um, we're going to try all of that together um, after two bars of three, four. So one, two, three, one, two. just a reprise of the A so we have most of that already so it just repeats pretty much the A part until the very last phrase so I'm just gonna play that again for you and then you can repeat it after me <laughs> of the B part sounds like this. Okay, so again we're finishing on um, that D as well for five beats. So um, we'll try the ending phrase together, starting on the B, first ring on your A. So we're going to 
half of the B featuring that reprise of the A part just with that little uh, change in the end in there, okay? So we'll also try that after two bars of three, four. One, two, three, one, two. <laughs> Hopefully you can still remember that. So remember this is starting on an upbeat crotchet D, okay? Um, and yeah, so we're going to try the B all the way through. So um, we'll see how we get on. So we'll do this after two bars of three, four. One, two, three, one, two. should be okay. We're going to try that B part one more time um, and then we can try the whole tune together. So third fingers on your day and after two bars one two three one two Slice that together with the A and play the tune the whole way through from the beginning to the end um, and we'll keep it nice and steady um, and see how we get on. So remembering that we start with the two quaver upbeats, um, a D and an E, okay we'll see how we get on. So we're going to play the whole tune now um, after two bars of three four. One, two, three, one, two. you found that okay and um, I'm just gonna play it once through again and I'm gonna add a bit of ornamentation uh, and th use different bowing patterns and um, just to show you um, some stylistic things you can do 
Um, but again, uh, just with any tune that you're playing, um, have fun and make it your own. Thank you very much for listening uh, and I hope you enjoyed learning Kate Hog Me Cry.